everyone, it's Miss Kirsten. Welcome back to another Pajama Story Time. I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. And if you guys didn't know already, Hanukkah started. So I thought for our book tonight, we could read The Eighth Menorah. It's written by Lauren L. Wool, illustrated by Laura Hughes, and published by Albert Whitman and Company. We do not own the rights to this book, but I hope you guys enjoy it. One November day at Hebrew school, Sam's class had a treasure hunt in the park. Everyone found pebbles of different shapes and sizes, pine cones, acorns, and twigs. Sam found a small shiny sliver of rock that danced with silver specks. Back in the classroom on the second floor of the temple, they rinsed their treasures in the sink and set them out to dry on paper towels. The twigs and pine cones turned a deep, rich brown. The acorns sparkled in the light. The pebbles shiver shimmered. Sam's rock glowed. Next week, we're going to decorate our own Hanukkah menorahs with all these treasures, Sam's teacher, Miss Zuckerman, explained. They will make wonderful surprises for your parents. Menorahs? Sam's family already had lots of menorahs. They didn't need another one. The next Sunday, Miss Zuckerman showed the children a brick of clay decorated with buttons and marbles and little jewels. On the top, they counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. I made this menorah when I was in Sunday school, Miss Z said. Now it's your turn to make one. Sam raised his hand. My family has a menorah. My family has seven menorahs. Maybe I can make something else. Don't worry, Sam, Miss Z told him. You'll see, your parents will love it. Sam wasn't so sure. The children began shaping their blocks of clay into menorahs. Sam watched Rebecca turn hers into a snake and Danny turn his into a circle. Sam used a wooden tool to create a hill out of his clay. He placed his silvery rock just below the point of the hill. That afternoon, Sam's grandmother called. Sam told her, Grammy, I have a secret. I love secret secrets, Sammy, Grammy said. It's about what we're making in Hebrew school, Sam added. May I guess? Sure. Is it a painting? Nope. Is it a puppet? Nah, uh Is it something to eat? I think it's something to eat. No, I give up, Sam. What is it? It's a secret. When the children came in the next week, the menorahs were lined up on Miss Zuckerman's desk. They looked like a celebration about to happen. All that's left to do is wrap them, Miss C said. But Miss Z, my family already has seven menorahs. All of them are special. Don't fret, Sam. Look at it. Imagine how it will shine with the candles in it, with the candles lit. It was pr a pretty great menorah, Sam had to admit. Now comes the hardest part, Miss Zuckerman reminded them. Hanukkah is not for three weeks. When will you take your menorah home? When you take your menorah home, you need to find a hiding place for it. Sam knew just the right place to hide his menorah. Hi, Grammy. How are you doing? Did you make any new friends in your building? I did. I went shopping with a couple of my new neighbors today. I'm going to bake you a surprise. What? You'll see. I'm talking about surprises. How's your secret coming along? Grammy asked. It's done. I've got it here in a hiding place waiting for Hanukkah. Oh, Grammy said, a Hanukkah present? For mom and dad, Sam said. Then he added, don't tell. Never, Grammy promised. The next Sunday, Miss Zuckerman announced, time to get ready for Hanukkah. She told the class the story of the brave Maccabees and the fight to save the temple. She told them about the miracle of the oil, how the little bit of it that should have lasted only one day in the eternal lamp lasted for eight days. She taught them the songs Rock of Ages and I Have a Little Dreidel. They practiced the prayers for the candle lighting. What's new, Sammy? Grammy asked when she called that week. We're having a Hanukkah party on Sunday. Sounds like fun. I love Hanukkah. But I'm afraid this year the holiday will be very different. The condo I moved into doesn't allow open flames in our apartments. I won't be able to light candles. How come? Sam wondered. 
safety rules, but there is an electric menorah in the community room. No candles allowed there either, Grammy. Yes, you can have candles there, but they tell me everyone just uses the electric menorah. Oh, you can light candles at our house. You're coming over for the first night, right? I am, and that will be very nice. Thank you, Sammy. On the Sunday of their party, Miss Zuckerman brought in potato latkes. All the children had a feast. The children played dreidel for Hanukkah gelt. Sam won five pieces of chocolate. As everyone was leaving, Miss Z handed each child a box of Hanukkah candles. She winked at the children and told them quietly, don't forget the secret presents. Sam's stomach dropped. Sam checked under his bed when he got home. His menorah was there, safe and sound. Sam, we need your help, please. His dog cried. All the family's menorahs were lined up in the dining room table. Which one do you think we should use this year, Sam? His dad asked. One had been his mom's when she was a girl. One came from Russia with his great-great-grandmother. His Grammy and Grandpa bought one, brought one home from their trip to Israel. The one with the animals had been his dad's when he was a boy. One was the menorah his parents bought for their first Hanukkah together, and one was a gift from Nana and Poppy. The smallest one was the menorah Sam's parents had bought when Sam was born. Sam was now more certain than ever that his parents didn't need a menorah with twigs and pebbles and one silvery rock, but he did know someone who could use it. On the first evening of the holiday, Sam and his parents drove to Grammy's condo to pick her up. She was waiting for them in the lobby. Can we go to the community room to see the electric menorah, Grammy? Grammy took Sam's hand and they walked toward a big double door. Sam reached into the bag he was carrying and handed her a package. This is for you, Grammy, he said. Oh, Sammy, thank you. Grammy opened the package slowly and carefully. A menorah, she said. She held it up and looked at it for a long while, and then she said, it is just beautiful. I made it, Sam said proudly. In, he in Hebrew school, Grammy asked, smiling. It's the secret, Grammy. It's the best secret ever. Grammy hugged Sammy. Sammy noticed that some of Grammy's neighbors were coming into the community room. They admired the menorah. Can we light it now, he asked everyone. We can, Grammy said, but we don't have candles. Sam reached into his bag again and took out the box of candles Miss Zuckerman had given him. They set up the menorah and put the sh shamash candle at the top of the hill, just above Sam's shiny rock. They put one more candle in the first hole. Then Sam, his mom, his dad, and grandma, along with Grammy's new friends, lit the candles and sang the blessings together. Mr. Levine, one of Grammy's neighbors, shook Sam's hand. This is the best Hanukkah gift ever, Sam. I hope you don't mind if we all share it. He bent down and kissed Sam on the top of his head. Sam heard him whisper to his Grammy, you've got quite a mensch there. Sam looked at his lighted menorah. The silvery rock sparkled. Everyone's eyes brightened too. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the eighth menorah and if you didn't already know Hanukkah started, I hope you learned a little bit about Hanukkah. And I'll see you guys next week for another pajama story time. Bye.